Now in its seventh year, talk like you've never heard it before. Whoopsie. Keep getting things wrong. Hey, everybody. This is The Ramble, and uh, I'm Alex, and we're here until midnight tonight. Whoop-de-doo. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, we like to check in with Will Durst. He's kind of a sliver there in the screen because somehow we can't figure out how to get him elongated, but... You're looking. You're looking ah. al- alert. You're looking alert. You can't figure out how to get him elongated. You can't figure out how to get you elongated. I'm the unelongated Will Durst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how you doing, Will? I'm good. Yeah. Uh, how are you, Alex Bennett? Uh, I'm tired as always. <laughs> I'm just. I'm probably I'm probably more tired and have less energy. Wait a minute! Don't do that. You're going to put me to sleep. Sorry. Don't yawn. Uh, how tired of you are you of being in bed? You know, you don't think you want you would get tired of being in bed. I, I know. I I tell people that I've been stuck in bed, and they say, "Yeah, I wish I were stuck in bed." Yeah, they they all say that. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, I would. No, I, you don't. I wish I could have a stroke. Oh, just for a day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you yeah. go. Right. But uh, no, no. Uh, uh, no, 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 you don't want to have a stroke just for a day. So how's it coming along? Is it get, are you getting, uh, is, is the therapy working at all or what? Well, my leg hurts. Yeah. Is and that... they say that's good because that's the uh, nerves waking up. Oh, really? Okay. So how do, so if it hurts, yeah, you, you have to have some feeling there. Yeah. Wow, that's good. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm tired of my nerves waking up. You're tired of your nerves waking up? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, but your arm, how's it doing? It's doing better, right? Arm is doing better. Yeah, I mean, how much better? Enough that you can type and stuff? I can move it, yeah. Yeah, good. So, uh, in case people don't know, here comes his joke. Uh, Will has had a stroke. I had a, had a stroke. stroke? <laughs> you know, if I remember you for anything for the rest of my life, which, you know, may not be that long, uh, it will be that whenever I said you had a stroke, you went, I had a stroke? Uh, yeah, well, I do it to Debbie, too. Yeah, so. I, know, I know. I know. And it never get, I never get tired of it. That's the it, funny the joke. Part. Never gets old. It never gets uh, old. Okay. Right, uh, right. So, so you're. Uh, excuse me. I have to dab my eyes every now and then because I have an eye condition that's being taken care of soon. Uh, anyway, um, uh, so I mean, it, 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 are you okay from Prince Ida? Uh, from uh, Prince Hurricane, Ida. Hurricane Ida. Hurricane Ida. Uh, yeah, we didn't. Uh, we didn't flood out here. You know where yeah. we are, but then again, we're on the eighth floor of a building. So I mean, how you know, I know, but I have a friend who lives on, uh, like, right across in the park, and yeah. his building flooded, the basement flooded, so the elevators didn't work. Oh well, no, we we didn't have that problem. I you know we we nothing went out here. We were just fine in our building. Oh, uh, that's good. So you know, I mean. It, it really depended on where you were. You know, some of the subways flooded out. You know that always, but they, they're under they're underground, so of course they're going to flood out. You know. Yeah, that makes a certain sense. Yeah, uh, but uh, no, we were fine here. Uh, I would have expected maybe if we flooded out our basement, the electricity would go out, or the gas would yeah. go out, or something would go out. Yeah. And nothing went out, so we were pretty pretty safe from it. But uh, a lot of people, I mean, they had, they had some shots of the subways with the water coming down into it, and it looked like a, a damn waterfall, you know. Let me see a little more of your face there. Yeah, there we go. I know it's hard. That to, happened during Sandy, too, didn't it? Uh, we, I don't think Sandy was this bad for New York City. It hit New Jersey pretty badly. 
Uh, but New Jersey always gets it, and the reason is because J New Jersey deserves it. So, you know. That's a good reason. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever been to New Jersey, but New Jersey definitely deserves it. Yeah. In fact, I often said New Jersey is the only state in the country that the uh, Statue of Liberty has turned her back to. So, you know, it's a little joke I made up there. In my, That's pretty good. In my waning years of attempting humor, you know. So, uh, so how funny do you feel these days? I mean, do you do, are you well, dying? Well, that's the thing. Yeah. No matter where you live, there's a dork town. Oh, there is a dork town. There's no question yeah. about it. What is yeah. it in the Bay Area? It's at Emeryville, isn't it? Emeryville, Albany, <laughs> Daly City. <laughs> yes. Hayward. Hayward. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, Bubbles uses Hayward for everything. Yeah, but you, 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 you don't want to put those down because you, you need those areas for audiences. No, but I'm saying every, every area has a dork town. Oh, absolutely. Even Hayward has a dork town. They make fun of Milpitas. <laughs> yeah. In Wisconsin, we used to make fun of Iowa. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, we and in Illinois, they make fun of Wisconsin. Well, New York here, we make fun of New Jersey. You yeah. Know. Well, yeah. In fact, I remember when I was uh, younger and I was driving in this town, we used to talk about all the bad drivers that we would bump into. You know how they had the Chinese driver jokes years ago in New in San Francisco? Yeah. And it wasn't really a joke because every time... We saw a a bad um, a driver or a confused driver. A confused driver. It was, and you looked at they were Chi they, they were Chinese. This is not being anti Asian or anything. And I asked a Chinese person once, a younger one, why that was the case, and he said it's only the old Chinese drivers because they came here from the old country, where I think they drive on the other side of the road. Okay, and in, they just get Hong very Kong, right. they get very confused by all of it, and that's why the Chinese drivers are so bad in San Francisco. Now that same joke was made about it's, New Jersey drivers in New York. You know, and oh, it's because they get confused. They well, they what they get confused by is, for instance, here in New York, as opposed to California. The wonderful you thing you can't turn right on red. You can true turn right on red exactly. Uh, and and so they come into town and they don't understand that, you know they don't get that. So um, what happened was is I said uh, I, I, I we came to New York to do our shows once and I think Lori was in a cab with me and it was stalled and I said oh that driver up ahead must be a New Jersey driver. And then I explained to her that the New Jersey driver joke was the equivalent of the California Chinese, a, a Chinese driver, driver joke, okay? And as we passed this car that was very confused, it happened to have Jersey plates, and it was a Chinese driver. So, you know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> now, was that racist, by the way, when we made uh, Chinese driver jokes? Yes. It was? Yeah. Why? But it was true, so it didn't but it, matter. But it was true, right? You know. But I mean, uh, uh, like we make jokes about old drivers, and I understand it now. Being older, I don't even drive anymore. I haven't driven in three or four years, and I don't know if I'm capable of getting behind the wheel of a car. Well, you know, I used I used to turn that joke around. Yeah. Remember when Hong Kong? Uh, yeah. I turned that joke around and I said, uh, Hong Kong is buying up all the property in the West Coast. In five years, they're gonna make us wear black pajamas and take apart the railroad. <laughs> I don't know. Where, where? I guess you couldn't do that. You couldn't do that kind of joke in a club anymore. I don't know if I could. Yeah, I mean, do you have material in your act that you know you could not do today? Oh, you mean for the past? Yeah. Because uh, you were... I, I imagine it's hard to remember all my jokes. I can't remember them all at once. Well, for instance, I'll tell you a comedian who would have a hard time today. 
um, uh, Bobby Slayton. No, no, Bobby's Bobby. I've talked to Bobby. He, he has a problem. He says I, I don't have an act anymore. I, you know, he can't. He's so he's so against the grain that he yeah, has no act. Yeah, that joke anymore. about the, the Chinese and the Jewish, you know, mothers. Yeah. Um, making guttural noises at each other. Yeah, yeah. Right. And what did he call it? The, the war of the ancient civilizations. Yeah, something? something like that. Yeah, it was a Jewish was, mother that's, and that's, and, a, and a Chinese mother arguing with each other yeah, or something. It's still funny. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I don't think he could do it. No, I think he could. You think he could? Well, you see, I I think that comedians should be allowed to get away with anything because you're you're commenting on stuff you see. If it's funny. If it's funny. I mean, uh, there are jokes that, you know, you don't go around telling Asian jokes because it make, it mocks Asians particularly. But the fact was that Asian drivers were pretty bad in San Francisco, the older ones. Well, also because San Francisco kept changing the streets, you know, mm -hmm. one-way street. Yeah. Suddenly it's not a one-way street. Yeah, yeah. Now, younger Asian drivers were fine. Couldn't make a joke yeah. about them, uh, but uh, but uh, uh, can, can you make sh jokes about Jews anymore? You know, no Jew jokes, no gay jokes. You know, a, a, a rabbi and a, and a and a and a priest go into a bar, blah 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 blah. You know, and the Jew buys it. So you know that that's a, you can't tell jokes like that anymore. Yeah, but that's not funny. Well. Maybe to you, but to people who have no sense of humor, maybe. Hey, let me see more of your face again. <laughs> we keep losing it. Just keep looking at your picture to see how you're framed. You know. Oh, you don't need to see. Me. Well, the guy's had a stroke, folks. So, you know, you got. Any, I had a stroke. Yeah, you got any good stroke jokes? Uh, you can hide your own Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> See? See? That's an Alzheimer's joke. Is that an Alzheimer's joke and you just adopted it to being a stroke joke, huh? Yeah. Okay. See, uh, I'm adaptable. I mean, is there anything... Let me ask you this. Is there anything funny about having a stroke? Uh, it's just one of the uh, elderly uh, signal posts. Is it? You know? Is it really... Do you think? Yeah, that and breaking a hip. Yeah, well, breaking and a leaving hip. Leaving your house and not remembering where you live. Bre breaking a hip is a very common problem. You know. For old people. Yeah, strokes. Uh, it's. I guess. I guess it's better you had a stroke than a heart attack. What's yeah, brain versus heart. Yeah. 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 I use the heart more often than I use the brain. Yeah. Now, what are your chances of having another stroke? I don't know if they're elevated or not. I mean, do they give you medicine to make sure you don't? No. No? Oh, okay. So you're you're just. What, I mean, what kind of medicines are you taking right now? Oh shit. Hmm. Uh. This is a memory test. I don't know. That, oh, you see, I can tell you what, what pills I'm on. I can't really tell you all the pills I'm on. But anyway. How many are you on? Oh, I, I take about seven pills a day. Oh, Jesus. And I, I do too. I, yeah, but I'm thinking of, of doing away with some of them. Uh, my friend Shecky, you know Shecky. Shecky? Yeah, Shecky. Uh, he one day he just said to hell with it. I'm not taking any of these anymore. What's, and what's he, he said, doing these days? Uh, he's uh, just he's in retirement, basically. You know. Nice. You know, but he uh, he uh, he uh, invested well and so on, and he's he's got uh, quite a bit of money. And he's, and he's, he's, and he's in a state union. Huh? No, no, no. He wasn't no. in any union. He, was no, he was uh, the film coordinator for the show. They, they, they don't have uh, a, 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 
a, a, that, that kind of union for them. He, you know. Uh, the, the, however, if you were a writer on that show, you got a great pension. If you were a director, you got a great pension. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, the, one of their writers had to quit the show at a certain point when he hit like 65 because otherwise he couldn't start collecting his pension and that would waste him lose him a lot of money so he actually had to quit the show because he needed to, because he had to collect his pension or lose some of it until he decided to retire so that's how good their pension is yeah, writers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I had uh, if I had wound up uh, working nothing but union jobs over the years, my my year my pension at uh, uh, my Astra Astra probably would have been rather substantial. You know, I mean, I only worked a little bit under under uh, uh, SAG Astra over the years, and I get about a thousand a month. You know, so whatever. Well. That's a cigarette, honey. Yeah. So did you hear? Ed Asner died, but the suit's going ahead. Did you read about that? What suit? Well, you know, Ed Asner sued SAG-AFTRA over this taking away of our senior benefits for the for the oh, medical. Right. He yeah. sued them, and so of course they put up a fight and said, "We want the the the." suit dismissed and went before a judge and the day after he died the judge said uh-uh the suit is going ahead ha ha all right ed way to go and so ed even on his deathbed gave us something positive you know good for him you know um but you had that uh, that insurance and you had to go f looking for other insurance you remember yeah yeah you know. It, it was really a, a it was good insurance a, a great insurance twenty five hundred dollars a year in dental are you kidding me there's nothing like that anywhere and we, we you know we had all this uh, the medicine taken care of and all of that all of a sudden they do away with it and for us to to take care of ourselves to make up for it costs us about four times what we were paying in the sag after premium then it's terrible just terrible and they're trying to blame it on the fact that AFTRA uh, merged with SAG well you know you should have thought of that before you merged with us for crying out loud but they've been wanting to merge for years so you know they've been talking about it for years yeah so what's your days like there now is it is, is a little more active because uh, I watch Perry Mason you watch I'm almost I'm almost through all all 20 seasons all 20 seasons of Perry Mason yeah that was a terrible show or it was a great show do you like that oh god I just never I never could get into that Perry Perry Mason have you watched the good place no the one with Ted Danson yeah no. I think watch it I think you'll enjoy it it's really have you good. seen uh, the other two what it's a show called The Other Two. No. What is, where is it? It's uh Netflix. Now I'll tell you, do you get do you get Amazon Prime? Yeah. There is a documentary on Amazon Prime, which is maybe the best show business documentary I've seen in years. Uh called uh, Wait for the Laugh. I think that's what it's called. It's the Rosemary documentary on Rosemary. Oh, right. Yeah. And it's Rosemary. really, really good. I mean, the stuff that she did in her lifetime was just amazing. You know. Baby Rosemary. Baby Rosemary. At five years old, she was, you know, she was literally not knocking them in the aisles. I mean, he, she was a, she was a firecracker, but she continued to have a career all along. She opened. Are you ready for this? She was opened with Jimmy Durante, the Flamingo, in Vegas. When Bud's, Bugsy Siegel opened it up, she was on that first bill in the middle of the desert 
when they when they started the flamingo. So I mean, she she really had just this amazing career. And she what was there when they turned the key on Vegas? Huh? Yeah, literally when they turned the lights on in Vegas, she was there. And in this documentary, they hello. They, oh, hold on a second. He's got. I gotta get someone to pull my leg up. Oh. Can I help you? <laughs> See, he's going to get somebody to pull his leg. Hello? Yeah. Can you pull my leg? Yeah. Oh, oh. I know, thank you. Uh, yeah, okay. Ah! Ah! Okay? Yeah, you okay now? Okay, anyway, in this documentary, they had a, they you know, they showed... Amazon Prime? Yeah, they show a bunch of like uh, 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 marquees, right? And one of them they show is of the Mapes Hotel in Reno, Nevada. Oh, the Mapes! I didn't even know the Mapes had uh, entertainment. Oh yeah, back in the day they did, and oh, that's a great and, and it so says Ro Ro Rosemary, and then it Can says you? with Eddie Fitzpatrick's orchestra. And my father played with Eddie Fitzpatrick's orchestra. No I, I was there when that uh, at that time when that shot was taken because my father always took my mother and I up to Reno to live for the summer while he played at the Mapes Hotel. Oh, far out. So it was kind of wonderful to see that marquee, you know. Thank you. It was wonderful to see that marquee. So it's a great and document. knowing that you were in the hotel. What? Knowing that you were in the hotel at the time. Well, I was probably there at one point or another, but we were there when he was playing with Eddie Fitzpatrick's orchestra at the Mapes. He, every every summer we would go to the Mapes Hotel, and we would, um, um, you know, we would go to Reno and live. And he worked at the Mapes live in Hotel. Reno for the summer. Yeah, or or sometimes he would work at Tahoe. Uh, my father would work at Tahoe, and I think. Fitzpatrick's orchestra was playing at Cal Neva. And we would uh, go to Cal Neva and stay there in one of the cabins on the property. Uh, and then uh, one summer we went down to the, uh, uh, what, what, what's the, Coconut Grove in L.A. When he played, they played at the Coconut Grove. And I used to run around playing on the fake palm trees. You know. Anyway, uh, you're, we've lost your face again. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's wrong with you? You're acting like somebody who had a stroke. Stop it. So you hear from all the people? Are the people keeping up with you and saying hello? And No. Debbie's here almost every day. Yeah. She's a saint. Yeah. Oh, absolute saint. All we see is your, are your glasses. Yeah, she's a saint. Yeah, all my other girlfriends would have ditched me by yeah. now. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Sold the house and moved to Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's really been in there working you, you know. Yeah. And and the thing is that it it's uh, you know your 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 spirits are good, your spirits are good. Uh, it's just it would be nice if you got the hell out of there and back into your house. I think that therapeutically. I agree. I agree. Totally. Therapeutically, that would probably be great for you. So, you know. But listen, uh, well, I, I, I just... want to be able to walk. Huh? I just want to be able to walk. Yeah. Well, I want to see you be able to walk, too. Get out of bed and walk. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be nice to... Do, it'd just be nice to have you back doing your, doing your skits and your sketches, you know? Yeah, I want to do my little skits. Yeah. But at the very least, if you can start typing... And start writing. Maybe you can get back to the writing part of your life, which is very important to you as well. So you know. But listen, now that's about. I mean, we've, we've done. Yeah, a, but Biden is so boring. He is, isn't he? Jesus. There's nothing funny about Biden. You take away Trump and give me Biden. Oh Christ! <laughs> Polar opposites. Maybe. Let me just say this quickly, and then I guess we got to go here. But uh, the trouble is that we we were so overburdened by Trump that a guy who's any less offensive than that is a bore. <laughs> you know. So we got used to having having that. No, kind of... no, 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 no. Joe Biden is boring. He is boring. 
Okay. It's it's not it's not just the comparison. Now you're saying this from a professional standpoint as a comedian looking for jokes, right? Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> He's not even funny looking. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Hey, listen, uh, we've, we've done almost 25 minutes here, and I just wanted oh, people buddy. to see that you're Sorry to waste your time. No, I'm not wasting my time. I love talking Say hello to, to all your friends, and yeah. Debbie says hi. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm going to sign this off, but stay there. Don't go away okay. so I can say goodbye to you on the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Will Durst, and uh, he had a stroke. I had a what? There, we got it again. Thanks, Will. Bye. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Now in its seventh year, talk like you've never heard it before. Man, there was Will Durst. Yeah, I love Will. And uh, we love talking to him. Oops, let me turn this on. It, I, I forget to tur do everything here now. I'm just, I'm just screwing this whole thing up. I'm about ready to just give it up. Last night, I, I, I completely was losing it on the show. And let me tell you something, though. I went out and I got this, uh, this uh, booster shot, okay? I, I don't know that we needed to get it yet. I, you know, we weren't like eight months along or whatever. Uh, but my wife, you know, she said, oh, we got to go get it. I know. I called them and we can get it. We got to go up and get it. So we went up and we got the booster shot. Uh, I couldn't sleep last night. I was in such pain. I had muscle aches that were just unrelenting. And uh, I just, I didn't sleep all night. I mean, I, I slept, but I slept rather fitfully. And my, uh, my, my leg was hurting me and, you know, it was, it was, um, uh, okay. Uh, it was aching and I had like flu-like symptoms. And it was terrible. I don't feel that bad now, but I'm exhausted, and I probably shouldn't have come on and done a show tonight, but hey, what the hell. What else do I have to do with my pathetic little life? Anyway, let's go to these people here who want to talk on this show for some odd, unusual reason. Uh, there's uh, Jeff, and there's uh, William, and there's Alan, and there's uh, hey, Charlie. Charlie. Hey. Ah. What's that? It's the Drake equation. The, yeah. the Drake equation? What is the Drake equation? It's an estimate of the number of technologically advanced civilizations there are in the galaxy. Oh, and how many is that? Well, um, if you do the formula, there's 10,000 planets. 4,000 of them are in what we call the Goldilocks zone. We don't know how what any of them have life or intelligent life or communicate or can communicate but it's somewhere around oh six six yeah about six. Oh, i thought you were going to come up with like ten thousand or something like that but it's like six yeah well there's a there's a couple of things we don't know like we know life is inevitable wherever you can get a toehold it'll it, it will but is intelligent life also inevitable or is it rare well, obviously, judging by us, it's rare. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so we, we don't, there, there's, a, there's a couple of questions in the equation we don't know, but as far as the planets and the, and the planets that have the environment suitable for life, we absolutely know that now. When the, when the equation was written in the 60s by Frank Drake, this was all just an article of faith that there were planets around other star systems. Well, okay. We didn't know. Well, let's let's look at Charlie's shirt tonight. What does it say, Charlie? It says, you matter unless you multiply yourself by the speed of light twice. Then you energy. energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charlie. I, you know, you, you, you're, you're amazing with those. Also, I noticed in back of you there's a test pattern for WXYZ, which was in Detroit. Chicago, I think. Chicago? Yeah. Really? Uh, because... Uh, uh, Let me move out the way real quick. Wait a minute. WXYZ, the radio station, I believe was in Detroit, if I'm not mistaken. It was the place the Lone Ranger came from. 
the show The Lone Ranger was done out of WXYZ Detroit, I think. But let me see here. I don't think I can look it up here. WXYZ, WX. Those are the y, only letters Z. that people could spell things with in Detroit? What? Back in the 50s, yeah. Uh, Detroit, Michigan. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right. So I, was I just saw it on, I saw this on the internet. And said, yeah, that's cool. That's a cool background. I'll, I'll use. Yeah, this you you were I was right and you were wrong, but that's uh, <laughs> as it should before be. my time. <laughs> because I'm the host of the show, I should always be right, right? That's right. You know, right. Um, but uh, WXYZ was the home station. The radio station was the home station for the Lone Ranger. And uh, 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 I got to know what's his name. Uh, the uh, the announcer for the Lone Ranger, uh, Fred Foy, because when I was working at ABC in New York, he was working ABC New York as well. But he had worked out of Detroit and was the announcer on the Lone Ranger for all those years. So, and then I also had on with him my boss for the the group of stations that we had, who at one time had been the voice of the announcer on the Green Hornet. Oh, okay. And you know what the Green Hornet and the Lone Ranger had in common? Mm -mm. They were the same exact show. <laughs> <laughs> they were. They would take the scripts from the Lone Ranger and just convert them to the, you know, the uh, Green Hornet. <laughs> uh, I mean, you got the Green Hornet, the Lone Ranger, Cato Tonto. You had uh, Black Beauty, which was the name of the... Uh, uh, the Green Hornet's car and Silver was the name of the Lone Ranger's horse, and they would just take the scripts and just make minor changes and and use the script that they used on the Lone Ranger for a Green Hornet show. And nobody caught on. Yeah, and nobody cares what I just said. <laughs> you know how many people in the audience right now are going <laughs> too much information for us. That's more information than I, I never knew that. Yeah, well, I'll give you another little piece of trivia. Okay. Who was the uh, Lone Ranger's uh, great-grandson? Oh, great-grandnephew, excuse me. I, I just said his name a few minutes ago. Britt Reed, the Green Hornet. Dan Reed was uh, the nephew of the Lone Ranger, if you remember on radio and television. And... Uh, Britt Reed, uh, went, or Dan Reed, went to uh, the big city and started running a newspaper, and then his son took it over and became the Green Hornet. And in one episode of The Lone Ranger on radio, on, on the Green Hornet, they, they had a picture on the wall or something where he said, who's that on the horse there? What's that picture there for? He says, that's your great uncle, the Lone Ranger. So, I mean, it was even established in the radio program. So, Oh well. He had to ask Jeff. What? Can't... I said Jeff had to ask. Why? You don't find that interesting? I do find it interesting, actually. I didn't know it either. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Certainly not an important thing. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Right. So. I always liked Tonto. You always liked Tonto? Yeah. I don't know why. I wonder what they think of him today. In 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 the cancel culture. Oh, he's been canceled. Well, I don't know. I mean, he, after all, he saved the Lone Ranger's life. You know, because when uh, the Cavendish gang... How do I know this much about the Lone Ranger? <laughs> when the Cavendish gang uh, 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 am ambushed the uh, the Rangers uh, in, a, uh, in a pass or something like that and killed them all... It was one the only one who survived. One survived. And the guy who brought him back to health was Tonto. Tonto. And he became known as the Lone Ranger. So, he was wore a mask. He did, white man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I never felt that uh, Tonto was ever portrayed as a subservient uh, Indian or anything oh. like that, you know. Uh, so, oh, what the hell. Anyway. So I'm really tired tonight. I have nothing to talk about. I, no, I've just, you know, I mean... This shot knocked me for a loop. Yeah, same here. I, I, in fact, this morning, I almost had to call the CDC because I was like, what the hell is going on here? I just, I felt like hammered hell when I woke up. Well, did you get a shot yesterday? Yeah, I did. 
and I felt okay. And yeah. this yeah. morning when I woke up, it was like, oh my God. What, what shot number, uh, William? It was number two of mm-hmm. Moderna. This one, yeah, I th- and I was told, yeah, this one's a little rough. You know, you might want to prepare yourself for this. I didn't think anything was going to happen. And then the next morning, or this morning when I woke up, it was like, oh. But you feel okay now? No, actually, I don't. <laughs> I, I just feel like it feels like early onset flu. Like you know, you're coming down with something. It, it's an overpowering tiredness. Yes. Yeah. You know, and I was in, unstable, had a hard time walking. I had to then go to my doctor today for my yearly examination. I told him about it. He said, yeah, that second, that second shot and now the third shot for you will knock, knock you for a loop, you know. So, uh, But I told Marjorie, you know, she was complaining about it, and I said, well, better off we got it than not, you know. Why did COVID. you take the third one? Why did we take the third one? Because yeah. I'm a pussy, and my wife forced me into it. <laughs> well, I was just immune to it's not that I. It's not that I didn't want to do it, but I. I felt we could wait. You know, <clears throat> it wasn't a necessity to do it now. But you know, for all we know, by the time uh, this one wears off, we're going to have to get another booster. So, you know, be there. Well, there, me. there are a couple vaccines out there that takes three injections and I can't remember that there's two of them uh, something I, I, I somebody was on the news and uh, so it's not unusual to have three vaccines for something and that give might give you lifetime immunity is what they're hoping even against the variants nobody knows for sure well we'll find out won't we I guess if we I'm will. still alive this time next year maybe you're right oh, you know this is like when I had to have anthrax shots in the Navy because I used to get those every year. Huh? Really? I didn't yeah. know they had uh, a vaccine. They did give you anthrax shots in the Navy. I remember I was in the Navy and we had anthrax shots. Wow. Yeah. I was at I was in a uh, I was with the Commander Naval Forces Korea. That was my unit. And part of the part of being in that unit was since we're in North Korea and they're gonna, probably going to throw weaponized anthrax at us. And he made it. So they were like, "Yeah, you need to take this shot." And at the time, it was like there was all kinds of side effects being reported, and I was—I I wasn't too sure if I wanted it, but I, I finally ended up getting it. Yeah. And I haven't had—I haven't had any ill effects since. You know. Yeah, that—that's from the nuclear energy shot that you got too. Vaccine, yeah. vaccine. Yeah, actually, actually, surprised nobody's come up with something like that. What? A, a shot to protect you from radiation if we got hit with it on a, you know, a nuclear attack. I don't think there is any kind of shot they could give you for that. No. No. There's, no, it, there's it, some it, treatments it, it, if you get too much radiation, I guess, but I don't know what. So listen, all you losers out there, any of you, any more of you going to call tonight? You know, we're not talking about Trump anymore. Uh, well, yeah, I, you know, I mean, why, am I, why, am, I do, why am I doing this? You know, the amount of people listening has dropped off us <laughs> immensely. And, uh, you know, I mean, come on here and nobody calls. You know, we got four people here that are good people to have here. But, you know, we need, we'd like to have a discussion. Quality over quantity. Huh? Quality over quantity. Well, quality over quantity, yes and no. You know, I agree with you that there's a certain uh, uh, something to be said for quality, right? But, Mm -hmm. you know, they used to have a lot of other people who are quality, too, and they're just not calling now. Where's Brian, for instance? You know, he hasn't called all week. Oh, and he hasn't been on the show to tell you to go fuck off or anything? Who? Tony. Tony? Tony, oh, Tony has, Tony called um, Tuesday. I was here mm-hmm. Tuesday, I saw him. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, you know. But all, the, all the drama's gone now that Trump's gone. Is it that boring now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? It's a, it's a refreshing change. It really is. Well, it may be, but. Well, for you at your age. Yeah, I don't even know how old you are, William. I'm just giving you shit. So. Uh, well, no, I'm 52, and you're right. Oh, God, that's so old. I know. It just 
Put me out to pasture already. Youngster, Jesus. Yeah, I'm the kid here. The rest here. of us are older at least by 10 years. Well, the one who looks the youngest out of all of us is Charlie. Absolutely. And he's what, almost 70, Charlie, or 70? 71. 71. Oh. He's got that tan, that natural built-in tan. Yeah. Black don't crack. He does look good. Yeah, yeah. no, he look. but you know something? Is it my imagination, Charlie, do black people age better than white people? That's what I hear. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Um, <laughs> Charlie, would they give you a dollar to say that? You know, so... <laughs> Every time. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many diseases that affect black people yeah. a lot more than anybody else. And I mean, like, mm -hmm. diabetes and, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. They don't need to attack black people in much higher rates. So do they live longer? I don't know. Hey, thanks, Ray, for straightening yourself yeah. out. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Ray. <laughs> oh, he's walking. Again. Oh, you're welcome. I'm at Safeway. I just thought I'd have a, a low-quality yeah, you do. Oh, here you we know. go. We can't hear you, and you're frozen. Well, yeah. he's probably in the frozen food section. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. I thought they had Wi-Fi at Safeway. Uh, I Who guess. Would care. <laughs> I would. I go to Safeway. I, my my. I, I do too, but I usually don't check to see if they have Wi-Fi. Wait a minute. Now he's outdoors. What happened? Wow. Oh, the lights in the store went out. Uh, it's. I don't know why my connection sucks. Hmm. Um, it's time for you to get a hot spot to put in your pocket, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what are you doing? Are you, are you, I got a hot spot in my pocket. <laughs> what am I doing? I just shot. I just bought bread and milk. Bread and milk? Yeah. And cinnamon and turmeric. It's exciting, I know, but hey. Hey, that's the most exciting thing that's happened on this program tonight. Exactly. Yeah. I got liverwurst this morning. You got, oh, well, maybe it's now the second most exciting liverwurst. thing on the show this morning. Uh, uh, liverwurst? Oh, my God. Yeah, I like liverwurst. I, well, I, ever since I got out of the hospital, it's like I've had this strange craving for liverwurst. I get it all the time. Yeah. I uh, I uh, used to love liverwurst when I was a kid. Put it on bread, you know. Me too. And then bacon came out. Yeah. Oh, well, then bacon. What's better than bacon? That's right. It's the food of the gods, you know. It's the perfect. If food. I were a pig, I'd be really worried. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. They say that a pig. The best way to wake up in the morning and smell spread. bacon. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Let me see here. How many people are, are actually watching us right now? Uh, oh, oh, 33 people. Well, that's that's nice. You know, that's good. better than nothing. Uh, We're waiting for Ray to dance in the parking lot. I think that's what everybody's doing. Because I'm on a field trip. <clears throat> you're on a field trip. And then you go home and you're going to have that bread and what else is it that you bought? Uh, milk, cinnamon. And turmeric. And turmeric. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Here comes there John Larkin. He's uh, he's joining us. Hello, John. Good evening. It's the good conversation he was missing. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. How's it going, uh, I'm, John? I'm okay, uh, yeah. John. Yeah. It's How's just. Everything? I, How's everything? I'm just. I'm. I'm suffering post uh, COVID shot. Oh, you got another COVID shot? Yeah. Did booster? The, I got the booster, yeah. So did you get the hangover? Uh, yeah. I got it uh, today. I have it right now. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Yikes. Well, yeah, I'm looking it's at the clock. being dead. I, I'm going to the clock. Looking at the clock. Yeah, going, COVID. I only got 40 minutes left, you know. Um, but then, 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 uh, uh, what's the name does his show and I have when, to like when, post his show, so. When do you have your eye surgery, Alex? That's on the, uh, that's a t uh, about three Tuesdays from now. Yeah. 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 Uh, Towards the end of the month. Yeah, I wonder how painful it's going to be. Not afterwards, I'm talking about while it's happening, I guess. Oh, I don't think you'll feel it. They'll, they'll, they'll numb you up or they'll sedate you or something. Yeah, they're going to sedate me. And, My and father's had it. He's, he passed away years ago, but he had it done. 
-hmm. it's a common procedure, very low risk type. Oh yeah, but he did he recover from it pretty fast? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But he was he was like you. He never complained about anything. What do you mean? I complain about everything. I, that's what I said. <laughs> make a big deal out of everything. Saint Alex, the complaining saint. Yes, right. Well, more than that, more than being the complaining saint, um, uh, I, uh, you know, the only thing that amazed me was, I always go, you know, does this look infected to you? Uh, do you think this is cancer? Uh, do you think, you know, I'm, I'm, that's me, right? Now I go out and I get cancer. You'd think I'd go crazy, wouldn't you? No. How calm was I, Jeff? Not bad. Yeah. I, I was surprised. Yeah, I was surprised too. I, yeah. you, you know what I it is? Thank God that's over. <laughs> no, when you finally know you got cancer, hey, you got cancer, do something about it. Yeah. Right? But when but you- You had a pretty good strategy that lots of people have done before and it works out. What's Nicely. that? What's that? Say to Marjorie, I can't take out the garbage because I have cancer. <laughs> no, that. No, no. What? What strategy? What strategy? The strategy of the surgery. What do you mean strategy? That took your. Uh, what did they do? They put all kinds of pieces of metal inside. Well, first, no. First, they did the 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 uh, the, the uh, radiation. Yeah. Okay. And then they implanted the seeds in me, you know. And I was thinking about it today. See this here? I got, I got, I got. They drew blood on me today here, and yesterday uh, here, and it still hurts. I, I got the shot, uh, and then I got all those seeds in my impregnated in my uh, prostate. I'm a human. There? I'm a human pin cushion. Yeah. Are they still there, Alex? Huh? Or are they take? Are they still there? Or do they take them out. What? No, they don't. They, they don't take them out. They just stay. Oh, oh they're in you permanently. Yeah, they stay there, hang out, talk to each other, have have little parties down there. You know? Remember Some when this guy used to have fun with us? Remember that they guy? Inert. Huh? They become inert, right? They don't yeah. give it to any anybody back. What? No, no. It, 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 <laughs> it, the, radio, the radioactive seeds, and uh, they after about three months, they're inert. And they stay that way, and they just stay in your prostate. That's a okay. quick half life. But where where does all that energy go that they, you know, put out from the, from you know, the radioactive? Thing? It goes into the prostate. Yeah, Alex and, and, and it kills and it kills the cancer. And and then where does it go? What? The energy has to go somewhere. Uh, 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 Joe Grigo, please don't send me messages. Just to show us your picture. Okay, that would be nice if we saw you, and yeah. if we didn't see, you, don't see you soon. I'm going to hang up on you. Okay, all right. Uh, no, I. Um, uh, what, what, what was the question I was asked? That I was I, wondering. I, I was wondering. You know, where does the energy go? You know, it got. I was just wondering. You know, it has to go somewhere. It 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 does go. It doesn't. It it goes into the prostate, and it kills the cancer. No camera mic. Well, you know, I, but then where does it go? <laughs> then where does it go? Uh, it goes. Uh, I don't know. Where, it just it just goes I, into I, the plastic. I, I'm cancer, trying to so. think. I'm trying to think of a funny uh, funny joke. Yeah. I'm trying to get the one. light bulb in the yeah. house goes off at that. Point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, put in the waiting room. There we go. We'll put them in. The I thought energy. You know, energy has to go somewhere. It never. You know. It never stops. Energy. Oh no 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 no. This this dies. This energy dies. Yeah. It's good. It's uh, I forget what they call them. They're uh, they're radioactive seeds, and they're um, I can't remember what the what the uh, the name of them are. But they 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 after three months they subside, and you're not radioactive anymore. That's a quick uh -oh. half life. It's not cesium, is it? Uh, no. No. Uh, but uh, it, it uh, well, cesium has a half life of what, Charlie? I don't remember. Yeah, four hundred fifty you know, two like, meters. Like, uh, like um, in a nuclear energy plant, you know, they have to take those, you know, the pipes, the, and they get, you know, those things last for like ten thousand years. The pipes? 
or whatever those things rods, are. Rods. Uh, yeah. Rods. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the media, it's, it's, it, 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 they are radioactive seeds, but they're not. You know, they they just they, they dissipate after after uh, 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 three months. Oh. Oh. Just, just to give you an idea, John, sometimes they inject you if they're doing heart and brain scans. Yeah. They inject you with a radioactive isotope. Yeah. And it goes through your blood system. And, you know, a couple hours later, it, it goes out in your urine or your feces or something like that. I mean, I just yeah. had a heart scan six weeks yeah. ago and I read all about it because they give you a little bit of this. I don't know how much. Yeah. Uh, about you know, six stuff hours. And, and that way they can scan you and they say that your body depletes it after a few hours. Mm -hmm. Right. Your urine turns purple or something like that. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grow a second head. It's, it's, you feel right. that, that if you feel that warm, like the heat going through your body when they do it, huh? You feel any. No, I had. Oh, no, I had. No, I, no, no, not at all. I did when they, when I was in the hospital last uh, November, they, they did, uh, they did a, a CRT on my lungs and they shot me with this stuff and they said, uh, you're going to feel this in your body, going through your body. It'll just feel like. Uh, oh, I like know what that is. Charge. I know what that is, but it's not, you weren't really, it, was, it wasn't a radioactive. That's not radioactive. Thing. That's iodine. And they give you, oh, that, yeah. if they do it, not a CRT, but a CAT scan. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. Yeah, mm -hmm. CAT scan and they give you a, a, yeah, I've had that too. That's mm -hmm. fun. It makes you your if you, your bladder's empty and immediately after you urinate, and you yeah. get this warm feeling throughout your body. Yep. Yeah. Fortunately, yeah. the scan is quick. You go in, out of the donut, you're done. Well, here's yeah. somebody who wants to come on. He calls himself loser. Oh, well, you said <laughs> we were losers. Must be somebody I know. Do you think he's legitimate? <laughs> Wait a minute, where? Oh, that is Brian. Oh no, Brian's not a loser. Wait, uh, did we lose somebody here? Yeah. Who do we lose? Uh, we lost. Who do we lose? Um, we lost um, somebody. Ray. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me see. Let me see here who lo lo loser is. Or... Is loser going to? Okay, join? Alex. Here's an here, here, here. Oh, an there, implant oh, there we go. I almost wasn't going to take your call. Uh, call us losers, Brian. What? I didn't call you a loser. <laughs> yeah, you did. You said. Where are these losers that usually call in? Oh. <laughs> Brian is the first person you thought of. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of well, because you call on a pretty regular basis, and I count on you because you're one of the more intelligent people we have on. <laughs> he's one Lady of the one three. He's one of the few people that has a job on this show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I got a job. Abilities. <laughs> oh, one of the few. Okay. Yeah. Two of the few. So anyway, so I'm 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 sleepy tonight. That's why I need as many people here talking to each other as possible. I uh, I I took I got got that second shot, you know the the uh, third shot, and it knocked me for a loop last night. I went to sleep and I ached and I felt like crap. Couldn't sleep. How was the second one? How was your second one? Second one was fine. My, right. See, my, my second one was like that. Tiffany and I had the same day and everything, and we were exhausted the next day. So we took a day yeah. off and just left. Today I was That's bumping. I feel I was, it now. I was bumping into walls today. You know. Oh wow. And, That's you know, normal. I, and I went to my doctor for my yearly checkup, and he was going like, "What the hell's wrong with you?" And I said, "Well, let me tell you." He said, "That'll knock you out." He said, "That's you know." Uh, so why did you get the third one so soon? I told you because I got. Uh, you know, uh, bullied into it by my wife. Oh, okay. Why did she get it? So why don't you soon? pay attention? I said that. You didn't say why she got it. She got it because she said, "Oh, like, oh, we can get it now. We gotta go get it." Okay. Yeah. She's the same one that laminated our cards. Uh, that, a lot of people did that. Yeah. Well, they don't. They don't do you any good when you're going for the third one. They'll give you a new card. No, they don't. Oh. No. Nope. No. Nope. They don't give you a new card. Government. But, but they gave me a Trump list of they gave me a list of all the shots I've gotten at that um, uh, pharmacy, and uh, so I and that's the last one listed on there. So I have a record of it, and also, in about a week when it's reported to the state, it'll show up on my uh, uh, what do you call it on my uh, 
California has it, the same like Excelsior. System. Yeah. Like did, did you hear uh, LA LA County um, school district is the first school district to mandate all 12 year olds and above to have the that's vaccine. Right. That's right. You know, well, I, 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 I County uh, I'll, follows suit. That's okay, what, what I don't get about this. You know, when kids go to school, am I right or am I wrong? I, I don't have I haven't had kids, so I don't know if this is true. But I've heard the kids when they go to school, you have to guarantee that they've been given certain vaccinations before you yes. send them to school. I don't know. This, yes. what, even during even during COVID, before they were returning, before they even had a plan to return, the school sent me a letter, their DTOP or whatever that one is. They said that they need that Stephanie needed that one or she's not allowed back. And I said, well, they're not going back anyways. But we had to still go and get it for her. So, yeah, they, they still require that. Yeah. So, I mean, this has been a, the case for years. And now people are going, we have a constitutional right not to vaccinate our kids. Well, you didn't say that when you couldn't when you had to get them a shot to send them to school. You might right. have said, there, there are. No. There are exceptions, religious, so there are some exceptions that people can protest it. But still, the thing is, these people who are complaining about it didn't know about that. They were always going to buy what the school said. They were still getting shots for all their kids. And now because it's this vaccine, now everybody's crying about it. I just, I, I find it ridiculous. Okay, yeah. I just find it absurd. Yeah, in I'm fact, I gotta big. tell I gotta tell everybody out there. In spite of the fact that I'm complaining about how I feel today after my third shot, mm. uh, the fact of the matter is, if you're afraid of uh, inoculations because they hurt, you don't even feel this one. I yesterday, I'm she, they're do she's doing it, and I'm going. So when are you gonna do it? And she said, Oh, it's over already. Yeah, and Marjorie said she didn't feel it, it either. Yeah, well, I, I felt it when they pulled it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the it just feels like a bee sting or something. Yeah, yeah. Feel it doesn't even feel like that. I mean, yeah. uh, you know what usually hurts with? I'll tell you, there are certain ones that do hurt. Uh, certain flu shots you'll get that hurt, uh, and it has to do with the viscosity of the of the serum. Uh, uh, yeah, as Carrier. to whether it hurts or not. Yeah. Carrier. <clears throat> What about giving blood? I give blood all the time because it doesn't bother me. But those things are like a tube when they stick that in your arm and they sit there and well, you get know, all your blood. I never used to like to get a you know a blood drawn, but mm. then when I when I was in the hospital with that uh, kidney thing with the kidney stone, uh, I I had it and a, a thing permanently in my arm. I called it my USB port. You yeah. Know? Uh, and permanently in my arm that was a feeder tube for all the liquids they wanted to put in me and if it was time for my uh, my happy my happy dose to put me to sleep or to make me feel and I to take away the pain they put it in through there uh, and I had this thing in my arm for like four days and I yeah. always thought that would be creepy but after the first five minutes I, you were, I was used to it and now whenever anybody and then they used to wake me up at three o'clock in the morning and say uh, Mr. Schwarzman, uh, time to wake up for your blood draw. Okay, don't fucking wake me up in the middle of the night and then draw blood for me. Who the fuck do you think you are, Dracula? You know. Well, they should have. They should have gave Margie a a a, a, it's a, a it's thing. It's you could have had dinner together. It's Marjorie. Margie, you're gonna get in trouble. I'm doing horrible <laughs> with names lately. Yeah, well, you never you never call a Marjorie Margie. Okay. And you never call a Susan Sue. Okay. But Susie. Or Susie. Oh, they hate that. Yeah, just, but, that but, okay, so Marjorie could have got uh, Marjorie? Did I get it right? Yes, no. you did. Yes. Okay. Mar Marjorie. So much. I wasn't sure. You could have got her one and you guys could have had lunch together. Yeah. What? Okay. So you know the injection where they were the feeding tube. Oh the feeding off. tube. Oh the feeding tube. It wasn't a feeding tube. No, that that one they put in your stomach. That, that what they did was they were constantly uh, putting uh, liquid into me. Just uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, IV. Sal saline yeah. drip, because mm -hmm. it had to dislodge the kidney stone. How big was your that kidney stone? Oh, thank you. Well, my big uh, my kidney stone was big enough that they sent it off and had it crushed down and made into a diamond. 
but yeah, uh, no. Oh, I've had I've had seven of these, and not once did I have. Well, the first one I had ended up in the ER, but they were just you know here here's a shot, go home. I had one bad one, and it hit me while I was on the air here. And I went to Mount Sinai Hospital, and they said, you've got to stay here. You've got a kidney stone, and we've got to get this out of you before you can leave. So three, four, four days later, I'm, I'm sent home. Uh, but in the meantime, they've got this drip in me all the time, and, uh, you know. How do they do that? Do they, uh, do they call Rotor Rooter and run the rod up your... Never mind. Although well, no, they actually do something called lithotripsy, where they break it up with um, ultrasound. Yeah, but yep. they, they didn't do that in this case. They just that, they, that they figured some it of was the time. small enough. Did they, did they catheterize you? No, it was small enough that they could uh, just kind of feed me with a lot of liquid, you know, and eventually it have it come out. Pat yeah. Uh, but uh, it did come out finally. And uh, I peed blood like crazy, so now I'm running off to the nurse going, because I always heard, if you pee blood, you better go get yourself a doctor, okay? So I'm That's yelling, I'm peeing blood, I'm peeing blood, and she's going, oh, that. Just <laughs> go back to bed. I, I'm glad I joined the call tonight. Yeah, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you, know, well, you know, it was pretty good, you know. You were talking about radio stations earlier. I saw this license plate the other day. It's a WLPX one five three, and he had a KOME uh, bumper, like the old bumper sticker, you know, the diamond in his window. But wasn't that an old radio station, KLPX? I never heard of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That's what I thought. I thought it was a radio reference. Yeah. Well, there was a radio station in San Francisco, KMPX. Uh, hey, Jack. That's a W. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I heard you guys talking about shots and things. <clears throat> you know, as a type 2 diabetic, before they came out with uh, the uh, stuff that I'm shooting now, Trulicity, I was doing four and five shots a day. So, y you know, uh, after a while, I got used to it. It didn't wasn't a painful thing anymore, and I thought I was going to cry like a little girl the first time I had to do that. Well, Marjorie uh, has uh, allergies, and her doctor told her how to shoot up, and they give her some uh, hypodermic needles and the stuff that's for the allergies. And she, when she starts itching, she runs mm -hmm. out and sticks this thing in her butt. And it never, usually, never causes her a problem. It's just, you know, they're they're super thin, and they just all you, know, you barely have to touch them, and they break. They break. The I skin. once accidentally shot myself with an atropine pen. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, that was funny. Yeah. yeah. What happens if you take if you do that? For, atropine. If if, you, if you're not already exposed to nerve gas. Oh, well, that's you, that's nerve gas. Oh, okay. I thought yeah, that it, was. Yeah, it makes you sick. Is sicker than a dog? I thought that was the one for uh, 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 for anaphylactic shock. No, that's a that's an epipen and that's adrenaline. Yeah. Is the drug. Yeah. Didn't they used to and be that, really cheap, and then all of a sudden the guy who ran the company decided to jump the price up about quadruple or something? Asshole. Yeah. Really. Pharma bro. Well, they this, uh, also, they did the same thing on regular insulin a couple of years ago. They quadrupled the price. How are you doing on your Trulicity, Jack? We can talk about I that. love it. I do one shot a week. Yep, my roommate does, and then he gets an upset stomach for a couple of days. And the runs, and after that, everything's fine. And then it's Never time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And then it's time for another shot. Absolutely. <laughs> Come on. What's Trulicity oh, for? Trulicity I mean, is a, uh, it's an insulin substitute. Oh, okay. And uh, you do one shot a week, and if you watch. Yeah. Oh, not the same thing, Alex. Oh, it's not like Truvia? <laughs> I, I use Truvia. Oh. No, 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 no. That the one. Where they say you could, you know, have uh, suicidal tendencies and it's it's one of those drugs they put on the six thirty news and that uh, they talk, they plug the thing for ten seconds and the other 50, 40, 50 seconds are the contradictions. Yeah, That's all right. the things that it can do it can I, kill I, you. <laughs> but you now, know, the worst pain I ever had was when I had a catheter put in me. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's always fun. 
Uh, Gallstone, the worst pain I ever had. Oh. Gallstone was, I have to say that of all the pains that I've had, Gallstones pretty much did it. Never had it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope I don't. But women will always try and trump you on that one by going, well, yeah. have you ever had a baby? Yeah. <laughs> Well, here's the th here's the thing with that. It's like, okay, yeah, babies are painful, but after a while, you think I want to have another baby. Nobody ever says to themselves, "Yeah, I want some gallstones again." Yeah, my like kidney stone, <laughs> kidney stone, or yeah. kidney stones. Yeah, that's cute. That's yeah. cute. <clears throat> yeah. So I mean, my stepson had gallstones. Boy, I'll tell you, this show. No wonder that we haven't gotten any young <laughs> listeners or women. <laughs> Oh, listen, you ought to be among some of the women I know. They're always talking about their hysterectomies. They're, you know, the, my mother used to say to me when she'd get mad at me, she said, I was in labor for 19 hours yeah. or something like in that. The snow. In, in the snow. <laughs> in the snow. Uphill, hill, in the, both in ways. The, in the and fog she... in San Francisco. I have to tap my way to San Francisco General to have you, you bastard. Yeah, and, and she wasn't even Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, all mothers are Jewish mothers, no matter what. Yeah, same thing. That's right. Same thing. Except my mother, and she was Jewish. But anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but Pam, Pam once gave me shots like every three times a day when I had to take uh, a. Day you know, you only drug. needed it once a day, though. No. She, the, she, she liked watching you jump. She's a doctor. I, I, I was question. cry. I would cry. Really? really? Maybe she wasn't very good at it. No, she was fine. At it. Yeah, but it I was mean, supposed to be his arm. What, what was it for? Coumadin. Coumadin. So or yeah. heparin. Blood, oh, yeah. blood heparin. thinner. Blood thinner. Blood yeah. thinner. That's right. Same thing. Yeah. Uh, do you have to take those medicines now too, just to maintain yourself? Because he had, uh, you know. I have different kinds now. He has like he's miss. He's a robot inside. Yeah, here you want to see part of the robot? Yeah. Oh no! How about this. What is that? <laughs> Legend. Legend. You guys why want one of those? Isn't that the model that got recalled? <laughs> 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 That's funny. That's funny. I lived. That one lived with me for a while. Really? Uh, Legend. It, it, yeah, it was inside, and uh, unfortunately, I got a little infection inside. Oh. oh, okay. So, <clears throat> they took it out. Huh. Yeah, but what is it, that? You don't just, like, wash it or something. Put that up a second. Again, it has a logo. It looks like an ape man walking, learning to yes, walk. it does, didn't it? Yeah. L look at that, folks. Wait, wait, move over. Move it over. Now move it over so we can see the center. Pull it out a little bit. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it sound, out. Sound like I'm having That's sex. She said. So now, you want to go oh, in or out? Well, now I don't see that guy there. What is it? It's some kind of there it yeah, is. There it's it is. all yeah, the way in the right top corner. Yeah, what it's is it? Walking. Like, what it's, is it? It's actually a picture of Sasquatch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but why? Like. Why do they put a picture like that on something they put inside you? You know. Uh, wow. Wait, what is that? A picture? Going to live? Is that a pacemaker? Hmm. Yeah. Heart valve. Well, it's That's a, a, a heart valve. What? What is it? You have a uh, um, pacemaker. A pacemaker. Yeah. How come it's not in you? Because I got another one. He got another one. That's what he just said. He just said he, I got a, he I got took it out because he had an infection. Listen, oh, he, okay. used, he, used to, he used to create and make the damn things, right, yep. Jeff? Yeah, all kinds of implants and stuff like that. In other words, the very thing that you, and you, you worked on and created saved your life. <coughs> Hopefully, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't so that far. remind you of the commercial? I have a long-term plan here. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah, Doesn't so that remind you of the guy who said he bought the uh, lighter company for, or, or the razor company because uh, he used it and he liked it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you, if you if you worked on a lot of implants, could you suggest one for my uh, you know dingling here? Not, I got those. <laughs> yeah. I know that the wood's not getting as hard as it used to be. Hey, they got that those. I went to a, uh, I went to a, um, not a clinic, but I went to a discussion about that about four or five years ago, mm -hmm. and there was this guy who was almost ninety talking about he had them put this hydraulic thing in his 
man parts. And oh, he it up and he, yeah, and he was there with his wife, and you know, and oh, he was pumping it up. Yeah, pumping it up, man. And, I've heard uh, of that. Yeah, I've, I've heard never, of it too. I never designed one, but <laughs> but I looked at them. On the, well, I have a brother-in-law mm-hmm. that has one. Right, and and go. Donna's sister says. She doesn't know exactly how it works or how he makes it do what it does, but she said, I'm awfully happy now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes, sir. Proof right. of pudding, right? My, my, mo- my mother used to work at a urologist's office, and she assisted in those surgeries. Oh, no. Mm. Oh. Yeah, for quite a number of years. I heard that yeah. your dad was a test subject. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. No, but uh, uh, I heard the same thing. Best pilot. <laughs> Best pilot. There you go. I don't know. They have. I, I don't know. They have that. chemicals now that they yeah. you can inject. This sounds painful. You can inject in a real fine needle into the head of your dick. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you. It makes you really hard. It <gasps> oh, that those were around twenty years ago or more. <gasps> oh yeah. yeah. Let's see here. The audience just went down by one person. So <laughs> oh, why? Wait a minute. Did they go down or did they go down? They went. They decreased. Literally. Okay. Oh, boom, boom. <laughs> it was the one female. Okay, I'm sorry. I should have said penis. Now so there goes another back. one. <laughs> it, it now you're just being transphobic, see? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> what is transphobic? So my my oh, sister has a a hand problem. It makes her hand hurt. And it's kind of, it stays closed like this when you, at, you yeah. know, yeah. during the day, yeah. yeah. And it's hard to open it. Yeah. So she goes to this doctor who's uh, a hand surgeon and he goes, oh, he goes, you know, this is something that very rare people have this problem. But it's usually people from Viking areas. Oh, really? <laughs> Which you Nordic? imagine? She's Nordic. Um, She's um, Nordic. Uh, well, there's a, a disease called. Are you uh, ready for us to lose a couple of more v- listeners? Yeah, this is a good idea. Are any of you aware of Peroni's disease? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's a disease in which you get a curved dick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's actually a disease where you can't get rid of an erection. No, Peroni's disease is the is the is the shape of the penis, and when it's in, erect, in a curve. Okay. Clinton has that. Yeah, I'm gonna oh say that. Clinton has know. that. Yeah. You Clinton. heard. Oh, mine permanently points towards Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> mine goes to Mecca. <laughs> oh, that, stop it. <laughs> Don't do that. I don't want to have a, uh, uh, a, a what do you call it? A, what do they call it when they go crazy with uh, in Islam and a jihad? A jihad. Oh, a jihad, yeah. See, I can't even remember stuff anymore tonight. That uh, well, at least I'm not going to get COVID. Here we go again. Ray's going to eat. He's almost as bad as <clears throat> Alan and Brian. Yeah. Who's now eating? I'm not eating because that was. Bad. Yeah. Well, Brian's eating. What are you eating tonight, Brian? He's always eating. Fruit. Plum. Plums. Yeah. I've been and getting. You didn't bring enough for all of us. <laughs> no. You know what I hate? We're 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 getting out of fruit season. Pretty yeah. soon. Uh, and I love fruit season. I love it when the cherries are going and when the strawberries are good, and great. And, and and so on. And we're we're about ready to get out of that season. And I hate it because. You can't get anything. If you get grapes, they're like from Mexico, you know. It's no fun. It's no fun. And the, the melons are horrible. Yeah. So, Antelope. yeah. So, uh, uh, so the question is, do you think the president should mandate that people get yeah. shots? Do you think we yeah. should go yeah. to that, that well, he isn't, he isn't, well, he doesn't exactly have the power. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. He can can order federal employees to do this. Which he did today. Mm -hmm. He did that today. And he can can probably... Yeah, he can issue an executive order to the federal employees, but 
He yeah. can't tell the whole country. Yeah, but, but he get. But but wait a minute. Uh, and, and all the all these governors could, you know, like here in New York, mandate as they have that all teachers be uh, be vaccinated. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I, but but it, isn't he supposed to do things by executive order that keep the welfare of the country in place? Yeah. And no. and and this is something for the welfare of the country. Hmm. Yeah, yeah the kids, come on. According yeah, to the Constitution, he has a duty to protect the, uh, you know, protect in, the Constitution and the people. And in the California, people. we've come a long ways because of Newsom. If he loses, this this idiot radio guy, whatever his name is, Barry you know, Elder, yeah. he said he's going to undo the masks, undo the vaccines, in L.A. County today, like Brian said, they voted all students. He's going to undo that, he said. What a real winner! I mean, he's the well. He's the tr he's trying to win. I, I he's get it. Turn us into Idaho. Yeah, no, you've turned, you turned California Worse. into Texas. That's the way Texas is. Yeah. There's well, no yeah. way. You know, in, in Idaho, the, the the prediction that Sarah Palin made that there were going to be death panels has finally come true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They are rationing health care. Yep. Because the hospitals are full. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yep. so they got to pick and choose who lives and who dies. Every day, oh, every day Alan. that we get closer to this election, which is when is it? Is it on the over the weekend? Fourteen. Fourteen. Tuesday. 14. Tuesday. It's, it's, I already uh, voted. Oh, okay, it's <clears throat> next Tuesday. Every yeah. every day we get closer, the spread keeps growing. Today there's a thirteen percent difference between uh, Newsom being impeached and not, uh, being recalled and not being recalled. Yeah, it's on 538.com. Yep. Yeah, that's what well, I look I'm looking at. Yeah. It too. Well, no it's way a, he's going to get in, get recalled. No way. I, at this point, I think it's uh, you know it's a slam dunk that he's not going to. Of yeah. the Republicans, uh, uh, Larry oh, Carly, Elder. Sorry. <laughs> Larry Elder is at 26 percent, and Pathrath, <laughs> who is what this is he like a money guy or something with a blog? Yeah, he's he's yes. a YouTube guy. He shows you how to make a million bucks in ten days or something. Brian, uh, number one, Charlie, you left too much time on the clock for Tom Brady. Sorry, I saw. Okay. I, saw. <laughs> I know you're watching it. I know you're watching it. <laughs> That's so my okay. Number two, <laughs> doesn't he have COVID? Doesn't uh, he have, wait a minute? Doesn't he have COVID, Tom Brady? Oh, he no. had it, but he doesn't oh. have it now. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he still went home to Giselle. <laughs> so, okay. So, um, he just won. Every, yeah, I know. I know. Charlie and I are watching it right now. So, I just saw his I can't believe the Cowboys were leading. But he, you left Tom Brady a minute and 48 seconds. Okay. So, anyways, um, no, no, but seriously, the, the small, the small companies <clears throat> and going into the bigger companies need to lead the way on the mandates. And I hope my company. We've already asked it. We had our we had one of our big meetings uh, with the L ones and already asked them. You know, are we going to follow? Are we going to start leading the pack in this? Because you say the schools are going to start it, and I guarantee LA County is not the only one that's going to do it. I hope San Jose Unified and all that stuff follow suit. But these these companies need to start stepping up and doing the same. Mm -hmm. My company's already done that. Mm -hmm. I thought um. In company. I thought he said some. There was some kind of a mandate out today that said any any company that has more than a hundred employees has to have all the employees vaccinated, or they have to be tested like once a week or something. I don't care about testing. I, I want to vaccinate. Right? Yeah, I know. I know. We have you know, all these people dying every day. Nineteen hundred a day. Yeah. I mean, yeah. give me a break. By the way, I want to know something, Charlie, Jack. Have yes. e either of you called in and turned in uh, the governor? Uh, because there's a bounty of ten thousand hey. dollars. Well, 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 we'd have to turn him in for being a doofus, and so far that ten thousand dollars doesn't cover doofuses. But uh, you know, what I find unconscionable about the governor of Texas is he has had COVID. Yeah. You know, and he's saying. Oh, I don't give a damn about that, you know. And and and, the, and the, when I'm telling my Republican friends that say I don't want to take the shot, I say good, 
I want you to die and die quickly, die before the next election. So yeah. maybe, so maybe we can have somebody elected uh, across the state of Texas that's smart. We how, have, but you how, know, how we have this? not elected a statewide how, Democratic between, or between, liberal candidate yeah, in twenty yeah, years. But between I miss Ann Richards. But, but God, I miss her. But between this, okay, between this and. Uh, uh, the um, uh, what do you that call it? The, the abortion thing. Uh, don't you think that's going to hurt him in any future election? I mean, oh, yes. no. how can women possibly be? Oh, yes, I have no idea. It's the Handmaid's Tale. They're going to lose big time unless they rig the elections, and they already have. Yeah. Well, they've rigged it because they've also they've also changed the voting rules. Right. So, you one, know, put one drop off box for all of Harris County. Oh, and by the way, Trump today on uh, Newsmax uh, came out <laughs> and said that uh, the uh, the uh, election in California is being rigged. Yeah, yeah. of course. There you go. <laughs> it's, it's always rigged if they don't win. Absolutely. Even if they even well, ahead of well, time. Well, no, he said he was good. It, when he f ran the first time, he said it was rigged and he won. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he didn't say it was rigged because I rigged it. No, he said, you know. So, they all, they all, uh, just, uh, they all just fucking lie. All the Republicans. Uh, well, no, it's I, just, or during the election, he was screaming about, "You got to stop the vote, Wisconsin! Stop the count, Wisconsin!" Okay, we'll stop the count. There, is, there a, is there Biden a, wins? Is there a good Republican out there? There's got to be a good Republican out there. Yeah, um, the ones. Uh, <laughs> Um, Adam Skinzinger, Adam Skinzinger yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Cheney. Cheney. Yeah, and I'm not saying they have to be on our side. I'm just saying they have to be reasonable, decent human beings. There used to be, I, I mean, I used to be a Republican back in the day, and that's when we had, like, Jack Kemp. Okay, and yeah, Henry, yeah. And Henry Hyde, even though I did, you know, you, even if you couldn't agree with Henry Hyde's positions and politics, at least he was... He could articulate it enough that you'd, oh, okay, I can see where you're coming from. You know, it, you can respect the guy. But right. this new crop, Jesus. It's, it's Romney. Amazing. Mitt Romney's not bad. No. He's okay. No, give me a break. He's okay. Romney's. I, mean, I respect him for standing up to Trump. That's yep, too, Anybody that stood up to Trump, I respect. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, he. Well, we'll see how that plays out in 2024. <laughs> yeah. 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 So there was a in the news there was real quick there was a neurologist in Georgia that went to Marjorie Taylor Greene's um, rally a couple of days ago mm -hmm. and was passing out COVID shots nobody took them so he was on the news and he said these people will let me work on their brain and their neurology stuff but won't allow me to give them a vaccine yeah yeah these people are just brain dead. Some of them, they're all tattooed up and they got, you know, nose rings. But they said, no, I don't want to get a shot because I'm scared of shots. You know, the it, tattoo ink is not FDA, by the way. What? I miss, I miss you with that nose ring. Don't you have one? Well, well, yeah, but wait a minute. They, 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 they don't want They're afraid of getting a, a, a vaccine shot and yet they can get tattoos. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah. 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 They're all tattooed up. Oh, you know, I've seen them on MSNBC. Uh, I don't want to get a uh, shot because I'm scared of shots. Yeah, I'd be you know, but they're covered with tattoos. Tattoos. needles. Big pussy. Tattoos hurt a lot more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. thank you, Jeff. Thank you to uh, William. Good having you again tonight, William. Uh, Alan, thank, thank you, you for joining us. Charlie, always a pleasure to have you here. I always pray that it will be raining and baseball won't be playing. Mm -hmm. uh, John Larkin, thank you for calling us tonight. Uh, as uh, and also uh, Brian, better known as Loser. Uh, not really. Not really. I know. I know. He's, any, he's anything but. Especially <laughs> because he gave me a great cap. These caps are terrific. <laughs> Send me another one. I love, okay. love them. I love them. They yeah, had a nice. Thing. There's certain caps that are suck, like the Trump ones, and these have a really nice kind of rake to them. They're perfect. Anyway, everybody, give a big uh, wave goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. There they go. That's the Citizen Panel, folks. Goodbye, all of you guys out there in television land. 
anyway, uh, oh, and thanks to Ray Renati too. Did I thank Ray Renati? Okay, I'm glad. I, I don't know. Did, I forgot to thank you. Did I? Huh? Okay. Well, I'm I'm thanking you, Ray. He can see me. Okay. Good night, Ray. Thank you. Love it when you call. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Uh, we'll be back again here tomorrow night uh, at uh, for the last show of the week. Uh, and. Um, uh, stay tuned for Jack Bishop. He's next with The Intersection. He's going to be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I'm Alex Bennett. I'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her and whatever you do. Get a shot. Get one. Get two. Maybe you can get three. Get four if they'll let you. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow night. Tune in to GabNet for the very best in talk radio. It's the Citizen Panel that makes the difference. And the Citizen Panel is you. Every GabNet show provides you...